What's your response? I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. Mm. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. Dang. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't she say just like a couple of days ago she wants to ban the um cash bail? bail. The, yeah, the cash bail. Yeah, didn't she just right here act like that was? But, yeah, I don't, but, I don't know nothing about right that. here. Tulsi just said she was yeah. for taxing them. She was. She's changing like she was all her shit. Again. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if that's crazy. Bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. So she Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. Oh, she can, she can say it. She Labor did. for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. She just so she just changing all her policies. Yes. You know, that can happen. You know, change your mind. I guess. I, yeah, I guess. Joe I Biden guess, hit it. Man. Remember, I he guess. said, "I don't want your kids and my kids fighting with them jungle monkeys." <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. The justice Not system. Joking. After watching White Boy Rick, the justice mm. system is completely. Now after watching that. So, so just like knowing how those what's her not job a uh, DA. DA district. Yeah. Attorney. So like knowing how much power they have Ooh, and seeing yeah. what happened in that situation, she reminds me of the lady. That basically kept white boy Ricky. So I definitely can't vote for something like that. And yeah, nah. that's bad. I ain't. We don't even know like really the the whole Dude, thing. That's other things. That, yeah, yeah, we don't even know what's really in there. He's screaming if y'all vote for that. <laughs> hey, she probably the one that was telling all the other judges to be like, hey. Get that man. She might be behind the Banana Republic, man. No, 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 no. That might be actually crazy. If she was just really like harming black people, and then now she want to act like she down with the black she people. She kept people in jail longer than they released date for a vote, so they could get the state could get free labor. But a lot of states do that anyway, right? Uh, I don't know. If Trump hired her, that is the funniest yeah, he hired, shit ever. He hired her to help him prepare for the debate on September. The yeah, 10th. I don't know if it's confirmed yet. That is though. confirmed. I've yeah, everybody he's saying reported. I mean, it, it might be confirmed. I, I hope it's confirmed. Put Tulsi out there. Kamala Dunn. Oh, I guess it's not confirmed. You said Kamala Dunn. Kama hey, brother. I've been saying we don't need Trump. We don't need JD. We don't need Vake. We don't need Biden. We don't need nobody, really. We, we can send you out brother. there. And you go to make Kamala and we can win for the Republican Party. Yeah. I got some hard hitting things I just got to ask her about, man. Oh, okay. Hey, Kamala, bring your campaign over here with that money so we can do an interview. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 we've been talking about that. That will be that will be fun. But New York, Benny posted it. Might be confirmed. Hey, I think it's confirmed. You know, hey, I hope so. This is a great move. I think they made that move. That impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. As the elected Attorney General of California, I did the work of significantly reforming the criminal justice system of a state of 40 million people, which became a national model for the work that needs to be done. And I am proud of that work. And I am proud of making a decision to not just give fancy speeches or be in a legislative body and give speeches on the floor, but actually doing the work of being in the position to use the power that I had to reform a system that is badly in need of reform. That is why we created initiatives that were about re-entering former offenders and getting them counseling. It Thank is you. why, and because I know that criminal justice Thank system you, is Senator. so broken, that I am an advocate for what Thank we you, need Senator. to do to your, not your only decriminalize, but legalize marijuana in the United States. I want to I want to bring uh, Congresswoman uh, Gabbard back in your response. The bottom line is, Senator Harris, when you were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives, you did not. And worse yet, in the case of those who were on death row, innocent people, you actually blocked evidence from being revealed that would have freed them until you were forced to do so. There is no excuse for that. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, oh, you owe them an apology. Senator Harris. <laughs> 
My entire career, I have been opposed, personally opposed to the death penalty, and that has never changed. And I dare anybody who is in a position to make that decision, to face the people I have faced, to say, I will not seek the death penalty. That is my background. That is my work. I am proud of it. I think you can judge people by when they are under fire, and it's not about some fancy opinion on a stage, but when they're in the position to actually make a decision, what do they do? When I was in the position of having to decide whether or not to seek a death penalty on cases I prosecuted, I made a very difficult decision that was not popular to not seek the death penalty. History shows that, and I am proud of those decisions. Sure. Well, I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> but she I wouldn't want to put no, everybody. I didn't uh, get those people. I didn't block their evidence. I wouldn't want to put everybody on a death sentence. Kamala, she yeah, she's guilty. She never said no. I didn't do a that. A lot of people the that got fact, death sentences are the people that the, murder somebody. The fact is, California's crime rate is still high. Cost to live in California is still high. California is the number one state that people are leaving. So, therefore, it's something not going good in California. So, you could, they do all this talking. And for how it looks out there, that's it's, crazy. What yeah. she said, it sounded good as hell. the best land. I ain't gonna cap. What she said, it's, that was a good defense. It was. But the fact here, the fact is, is that it's on record that the crime in California is still at all time high. So, therefore, what you was doing wasn't working. That's my two cents on that. Yeah. But, uh, no, yeah. I want to see where she laughed about the locking the people up for the weed. Because, like, I know. I, I, I yeah, I've that seen too. that I video. It's on, it's, it's on X. But they just like make it sound that. good, though, bro. Because I ain't going to lie. It was, it, hey, it wasn't a bad rebuttal, what she said. No, it wasn't a bad one. That's why I feel like she'll do a better debate than Biden did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it did not sound bad at all, that's guys. That's not saying much. But the results is what matters. The border? Yeah. The I wonder how she's going to explain the border. How you going to explain the men and women's sports? What were you looking to when you was high? <laughs> what was on? What song was it? Was oh, it my goodness. Oh, yeah, definitely Snoop. Uh-huh. <laughs> when she was high, she was listening Not to Snoop all... while locking people up. Well, that confirmed it. For the same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't like her. This is a problem, man. This is just a little bit hypocr hypocritical. Yeah, They're going to say y'all are extremists, man. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, bro. <laughs> this is not an extremist. Yeah. Doing nothing it's extreme. an opinion, bro. Because a lot of people like like the Tim Walls, Kamala interview. They said they're just mad. The Republicans are just mad. They don't have this character that Tim and Kamala has. <laughs> So some people like, you know, I guess no, the, they gonna like it. the know, kick, the leg team. kick. Well, team. Yeah, the leg kick. He look like a cheerleader. Know. He's they, them. Chill out, bro. They gonna get right. <laughs> Some people like those metaphors, she says, I guess. So in the meantime, you've got a Guatemalan migrant now arrested by ICE after serving about 190 days for a rape charge. Another incident in a wave of migrant crime affecting the country and our big cities in America. Look at the map. It's placing a spotlight on Vice President Harris's record on the border. It will be an issue leading up to Election Day. Tulsi Gabbard's a former Hawaii congresswoman. She sat on the House Homeland Security Committee. Uh, she has debated Harris as well. Good morning to you. And the, that, that debate is one of the reasons why we wanted to bring you on here. Before I get into the whole border policy thing, I just want to play this clip of you on stage with Kamala Harris from, I guess it's four or five years ago now, and uh, ask you a very specific question about this exchange. Roll it here. Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. I am proud of that work, and I am proud of making a decision to not just give fancy speeches or be in a legislative body and give speeches on the floor, but actually doing the work. The bottom line is, Senator Harris, when you were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives, you did not. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, oh, you owe them an apology. So that was quite the moment, July of 2019. You, you, you gave an interview to the AP saying all you had to do was Google that information. Yeah. And that you were surprised yeah. that her Man, comeback Tulsi's was not more effective. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Sorry. Well, she really didn't have a comeback. I think she revealed in that debate uh, the same thing that I think her campaign handlers are worried about right now is, you know, Kamala Harris is an empty suit. Uh, they are trying to create this new version of Kamala Harris to, to match what their pollsters are telling them so she can say whatever she needs to say to try to win over voters, which is the most offensive thing, I think, because they think we're so stupid as to forget what her record actually is. And so, you know, in 2019, very simply, I confronted her with her hypocrisy, how what she said 
was very different than what she actually did. Uh, and she had no answer for it. She had no explanation. She didn't even try to, to own or, or justify what her actions were. And that's going to be the key thing here for voters uh, as we head into this election is, you know, Kamala Harris will say whatever she thinks she needs to say. We have to pay attention to her actions because on every single major issue, you will see that same kind of hypocrisy that I pointed out in she's 2019, where she'll say one thing, but her record tells mm -hmm. a very, very different story. Well, she's got three that's and a half weeks to straighten it out because that's when the debate is on September 10th. Here's another issue that you're talking about here, Axios. When she was running for president in 2019, she was for decriminalizing illegal border crossings. No more. She has backed off. And that's just one of the issues now, okay? And here is Harris in her own words on border policies. I am not in favor of decriminalizing um, or, or not having um, consequence for We have to keep, let me just be very clear. We have to have a secure border. But I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented and cross the border as criminal. We've got to critically re-examine wow. ICE and its role and the way that it is being administered and the work it is doing. And we need to probably think about starting from scratch. I want to know, when you become president, would you be committing to close de immigration detention centers? Absolutely, on day one. On day one. You need to do a 180 on all of this now, Tulsi. And the, the only Here's way you can effectively do it is if you have the media in your back pocket. Which she does. She has the mainstream propaganda media helping her, collaborating with her. Frankly, they should be reported for these in-kind contributions they are making to her campaign because they are doing her work for her. They're trying to claim that she was not the border czar after all, even though there are many, many clips of them saying, well, she was in fact the border czar. I think, you know, so many of those clips she may try to say, oh, well, that was back then. That was back in 2019. The problem that she has to reckon with is the fact that her actions, her positions uh, and, and lack of action and failures, for that matter, as vice president, match very directly with what she was saying in 2019. Uh, she really does believe in open borders. They really do believe in allowing CC Tulsi. I'm sorry, I'm gonna let I'm, millions of let illegal immigrants to come across our borders, flood our communities. Uh, they really do believe in making sure that they have 10 million, over 10 million new uh, future voters. So again, actions will speak louder than words. Kamala okay. Harris is fake. She's a consummate politician. We've got to pay attention to her, her record as vice president. We will watch together and see how she does on all of that. Tulsi Gabbard, thanks for coming on today. That was well Thank said. <laughs> hey, bro, Tulsi's the best <laughs> ad they could have added because Trump seemed like, hey, man, every time I get up there, I can't help but to get on her ass. And it was good that <laughs> they pulled up the old clip because she was a Democrat at the time, so it was like she didn't have the bias or, you could, you know, you couldn't argue that she, oh, she was a Republican, so she was hating on her. Like, no, that was when she was a Democrat that she was tearing her ass apart. So, Facts. I mean... I'm pretty sure she was a Democrat politician in Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that, was that looked like that was the Democrat. So. Uh, that was the DNC, uh, yeah, the Democrat. Uh, that little debate. Yeah, debate, yeah. Man, because it seems like they the media, this year. That's every crazy. time... JD doesn't really say anything near what Trump says, but anytime I want, and they still try to j demonize JD. Maybe so it's like, like it's like it's like yeah, if it's do. a white man versus Kamala, they gonna make it a race thing. Yeah. So Tulsi was the best grab yeah, they because bet. she's not a white woman, and nah. she gonna grill her ass, and she, she she gonna probably you know say her name correct. They ain't gonna have no problems. She yeah, might no call her Kamala still. Kamala that don't matter, bro. I, ain't gonna, I was talking to somebody about that yesterday, and they was like, you know. A lot of black girls do that. And I was like, yeah, that's that black girl magic shit. You know, they, they don't want you to say somebody's name wrong. Because like, if you can say a name like Larry Fitzpatrick something, something, then you can say, uh, you know, how they be getting ghetto names wrong. They was like, you can say that name right. So it's, it's a, a thing. Ghetto names is crazy. I'm sorry, but it's weird. It's weird. That's the thing, though. That's, that's the core. <laughs> that's what black <laughs> girls are getting mad at. Because I was like, damn. I was watching this clip out loud, like one of them clips of them saying Kamala's name wrong. And, you know, this black girl was all like, yeah, black girls hate that. I was like, damn, like, that's kind of emotional. Like, that's, that, that's that black girl magic shit. It got to be because, like, people get na people names wrong all the time. 
Well, I think it's the fact that, yeah, like, kind of like you said, like, sometimes, you know, you don't have to call it what you call it, but sometimes their names are a little harder to pronounce for people who are outside of the <laughs> culture. So, that probably happens often, so they make that, it's like a stick, it's like a thing, you know, where they make it like, oh, you're a racist if you don't know how to say my name right, but which this, I don't agree with this at the all. Difference, people though. say my last name wrong every day. I know black girls that are just be like, just maybe, like, correct it right there, like, a quick second, but some people will go, like, into, like right there into, no, yeah, no. Yeah, like, over, like, no. really do it. It's this. It's this is Char Keisha. It's Char Keisha. <laughs> and then and, and, and I keep trying to right say you it. Right here, Char Keisha. I'm just saying, but that's, that's, that's the one. names that they get wrong. I'm being honest. Yeah, he but is. it is crazy that I mean, <laughs> I got really Kamala's right. name wrong. I'm not, am I racist? I thought Did it was Kamala. Name wrong? It's Kamala. I don't know what it is, bro. Kamala. I actually don't know what it is because I keep hearing both. Kamala, Ka- I, I don't know. <laughs> what Joe Biden called her. But uh, this was the perfect they ad. said it wrong, too. We need to get Joe, Joe said it wrong. So Dick fucking Joe said it wrong. He said, yeah, no, he did. He did. So, and he on, is the on. president. He did. Yeah, She's video. the vice. So don't hit us with that. He y'all. said, Kamala. Kamala. So if y'all man. <laughs> he sound like Mattress right, Mac, bro. <laughs> Kamala. Oh my God. I don't if know if y'all know Mattress Mac. Say it right, how y'all going to be bad at everybody? Bro, else? but Tulsi's the perfect at. They can't, because they're going to call Wesley. Byron, they're gonna call them Vivek's name wrong. They're Everybody say, says Vivek's name wrong. They're gonna say they, you know, sucking Trump off. That's what they're gonna call Byron Wesley, and they're gonna call them coons. Then they're gonna call JD and Trump racist. When you add Tulsi and Vivek, it's a it. When they speak to me for like the, the yeah, color wise, listen. you can't say nothing to them with color. You can't. you can't. So, you know, I feel like they'll find something for them. They might find something for Vivek. They didn't already call him a Nazi, but what is you gonna say about Tulsi? You can't say nothing. She a coon. Not, she's not black though. They'll say, man, it's all the way. We're gonna classify them in the same category. <laughs> well, yeah. well then yeah, I, I think this is a perfect ad though, man. All right, guys, let us know what y'all think. Yeah. Y'all know what Tulsi gonna do. <laughs>